come on. What up, all you sexy ass motherfuckers? We back for some. Motherfuck. Some Ace Attorney action. Let me move this. God damn, I gotta adjust my camera every fucking time. Hold on. Motherf- Alright, so let me see. The camera wire is tied into this. No! No! Do not do that! Let me see. Please, no. Stay! Stay! Alright. Maybe if I put this bitch over here, like... Nah, it won't fit. Or will it? Hold on. WILL IT FIT? If there, if there's a will, you can make it fit. All right, just need enough margarine butter and or lube. All right, does this help? Does this help actually? Keep it in place. I think it does. Yeah, this definitely fucking helps. If I do this, yeah. If I, yeah. Huh? 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 All right, dope. All right, let me see. I'm gonna. I gotta let motherfuckers know I'm live. Cause YouTube does kind of a terrible job in notifications. Just generally, absolutely abysmal. Um Go Almost good to go. I'm almost good to go. again.
There we go. What up, all you sexy ass motherfuckers? Project MRE, welcome in. Ah, oh, man. So how you doing? We're about to get. We're about to jump into that Steel Samurai action, baby. <laughs> Man, I gotta turn this a little more to the side first. All right. Yeah, you too. Yeah. All right. I might get to a. Uh... I'm, I'm gonna stop a little bit and see if people have a have a chance to get in, but I will make sure to come to a place where there's a banger first. <laughs> what is it? You're real quiet all of a sudden. Doesn't it give you the shiver snack? That white tape. It's so, so real. Well, the evil magistrate did die here. And the steel samurai killed him. The murder weapon was the samurai spear. Sounds pretty real to me. There we go. We got a banger. I'm gonna give a chance to the people I posted link to to join in. Not not too long though. I don't want to sit around all day. <laughs> we just grab some to drink real quick because I realized I forgot that. I'd be like, yeah, very short. It's not an actual break. I'm just going to get some to drink. Ugh. Like, man, that's hilarious. I need that. The coffee machine is taking a minute, but I, I also, I brought this guy here, because why not? Good old Miles. Alright. Coffee machine is damn good, but it takes time.
coffee, and I'm good to go. You know what? Maybe, maybe when I go to get shit, oops, I should, um, fuck. I should just put Miles Edgeworth in front of the camera. Just regular coffee. I was too lazy to make a cappuccino right now. There's a cappuccino option, but I would have had to clean like the barista milk container and all that shit. And uh, we're also out of espresso beans. So I just went for like regular black ass coffee. Got my got my venom mug. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, no, Miles, that's that's too naughty. Uh Got, gotta get this motherfucker in because of what I'm streaming. Yeah, the the um, the coffee machine I has it can um, it can uh, just shoot out like tea ready water for you. you. Can make coffee. Yeah, get that oil for the energy. Yeah, it can make espresso for you. Can make cappuccino for you. It's some good shit. All right, people had their chance. They'll have to show up late and be confused again. <laughs> All right. What's this? <clears throat> God damn. <coughs> I don't remember the uh I don't remember like the brand or whatever, but it's it's an expensive motherfucker, it is. It's loud as shit, but it's so good, like, you pour beans in into it. Like, it's none of that powder shit, nah, 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 nah. You put coffee beans into this, and then it grounds it, grinds it up, that's why it's so loud. Also why it takes time, it grinds it up into dust to put in, like, fresh. Mm. That's for a reflecting light. They call it a reflecting screen or something like that. The assistant hold, holds it during filming. Huh. What? Where's your enthusiasm for all things entertainment? Well, lighting is fine, but I'd want to be the director or maybe the steel samurai. I think she's being serious. All right, what we got, what we got? Script. Hey, look! That's the chair the director sits in. I've always wanted to sit in one of these. Hey, Nick, take a look at that. One of those black and white boards they clap at the start of filming. And look, a megaphone! A real live megaphone! Ready, Nick? Action! This girl is more trouble than I thought. <laughs> yeah. If you mean regards to the coffee, yeah. Uh, if if you mean I'm good voice wise, then uh, thank you. But I don't think I'm that proficient, like with ladies at least. I do have a versatile voice though in certain regards. I I can do gruff stuff pretty well. Looks like a backdrop for a stage. This must be used in the Steel Samurai show. Of course. That's the mountain, Neo Fujiyama. Doesn't the Steel Samurai take place in old Tokyo? Can you even see Mount Fuji from there? Not old Tokyo, Nick. Neo old Tokyo. Oh, right. I find that so funny, Steel Samurai is from Neo old Tokyo, because it's it basically means new old Tokyo, which... What the fuck? Um... Wow! Look at that camera! 
That must cost a ton! Yeah. Yeah, so don't touch it! Whoa! It's heavier than I thought! <clears throat> hey, you! Hey, you! No touching that! Uh, uh, sorry, my partner's kinda, you know. You know? No, I don't know! Uh, who are you? Oh, me? I'm an assistant here. I help with props and stuff, moving them around, ordering new ones, etc. We're lawyers, representing Mr. Will Powers. Oh, you're WP's people. WP? Oh, Will Powers, WP, I get it. I don't envy you guys one bit, but do what you can for WP, okay? He'd never hurt a fly. He has to be innocent. Don't worry, leave it to us! Alright, cool, let's continue looking around. Alright, 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 she'll add her, her... lines to shit now. Oh, it begins, guys! And gals! And whoever watches, the moment I investigate this ladder starts a series long debate that mankind still do not have the answer to. Look, a ladder. That's a step ladder. So what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. R r right sSorry. This girl is out there. So, every single game, often more than once per game, you investigate a ladder, and it continues the argument whether it's a ladder or a step ladder. And this goes uh, throughout the entire fucking series. <laughs> <clears throat> wow! Look at that camera! That must cost a ton! Yeah, so don't touch it! Whoa! It's heavier than I thought! Okay. Oh, no! No, 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 Don't worry about it. The master, in reality, you missed five minutes. There was a lot of fucking around, posting links, getting coffee. You're good. In reality, you lost like five minutes. I took my time. <laughs> I also waited around to give people a chance to join. Yeah. I also waited around a little bit, posted links, yeah. They outlined where Jack Hammer's body lay with tape. His body was found still inside the evil magistrate costume. I guess that's why the head part looks like a helmet. Funny. I expected a spear stab wound would leave at least a few blood stains. I guess that costume must have absorbed most of it. Thoughts about this? Sorry. I... I don't really want to think too much about what happened just yet. I don't know, she looks like someone who has, like, a very... Like, a lot of snot in her, her nose that kind of just... blocks it, that kind of makes it kind of nasally, and kind of... Oh, you too! Have a sexy ass night. Uh, any thoughts about this? Sorry. 
I... I don't really want to think too much about what happened just yet. Alright. What about this? No. Autopsy? I will say this though, okay. A nice way, I guess, to... Recap. Don't believe I would defense turn didn't carry this. I got a guide mag to the Global Studios. Jack's Autopsy, time of death, 10... Uh, the 15th of October uh, at 2.30 p.m. Caused, caused, pierced through the chest by a spear. Card key, card fee for studio employees, grand entry into Studio One. And then there's here, where Maya Fey, age 17, Mia's little sister, currently training to become a spirit medium. Miles Edgeworth, age 24. Um, and a ruthless man who'd do anything to get a guilty verdict. Dick Gumshoe, uh, age 30, detective at the local precinct in charge of the initial investigation. Will Powers, age 23, the defendant action star who plays the title role in the Steel Samurai TV show. Security Lady. Huh? Security guard at Global Studios claims she saw Powers heading to the scene. I love, I, I love this woman. She's hilarious. Jack Hammer, age 37, the victim, a former big name action star, played the role of the evil magistrate. Assistant, age 18, name Penny Nichols, assistant at Global Studios in charge of large props and set pieces. Oh. Hey! Don't you have a stream to pay attention to? <laughs> Don't you have like a million lore dumps? <laughs> hey! Alright, we're getting all the boys in the house. Could you tell me anything about the day of the murder? <clears throat> Yes, I was in the studio the whole day. I was the only assistant on staff, you see. Only one assistant? Uh, only one assistant? Yeah, well, the studio isn't doing so well right now. <laughs> and yesterday was only rehearsal for our action sequences. Oh, I see! In the morning, we went through the action sequences in that play area. WP and Hammer were there, along with everyone else. The employee area? That's where Powers is dressing rooms, right? Yeah, that's the place. After eating lunch there, Mr. Hammer went to Studio One. Then I saw WB go into his dressing room. But I didn't see either of them after that. Alright. Did you know that Mr. Powers was sleeping in his room? Oh, I would dare go in there unless I had some urgent message for him. I mean, it's his private... What kind of girl do you think I am? What? What kind? No, no! I'm sure you're a fine girl. Uh, sorry. So much for getting a confirmation of Powers' alibi. <laughs> and Marie be like, what's that? What do we do, Nick? We haven't found anything. If WP was the only one who came to the studio, then he has to be the killer. They even have a photograph. Hmm. Uh, sorry. I know you're busy. Not really. Actually, there's been something bothering me. Aha! Uh -huh. That's what I'm talking about. A clue! A lead! 
Well, I don't know about that. But that day, after just after noon, I said someone was there. You sensed? Yeah. Yes, several times. Some other studio employees, maybe? No, I don't think so. The only thing we had scheduled was an action scene thread through. I was the only assistant here that day. I have a feeling it was someone from outside. Really? But wait, if someone had come in here, wouldn't that security lady have noticed them? Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, I don't have any better information than that. No, thanks. That helps us a lot. Anything helps. Let's go put that security lady on the spot. Your project, Emery. Do you do you do you have a channel by chance? Like uh, like, do you make content in any way? Also, people make sure to check out Death Count. He plays games at the hardest difficulty. Uh, this is like that's like his main gimmick. Currently, he's playing like Final Fantasy VII Rebirth on his Twitch channel, Kamaru Tetsuo. Um, also, make sure to check out Predator Gaming HD. He's been fucking around with Initial D and a lot of other things. He'll play anything from Doom to well, you name it, he'll play it. Gonna teach her a lesson. Oh yeah, you do. All right, hit me. Sell to yourself. <laughs> that might have killed my role, but fuck that. Also, I'm not pale. You're pale. I got that. I, I got that nice. Uh, you know, like the Canary Isle uh, tan, you know, it looks like a justification in Spain, nice and very, very non-pale, right? <laughs> You're a YouTuber focused on first-person shooters and fighting games. All right, that's sick. Check them out when you can. Uh, yeah, the the next game I'm playing after this is Tomba, and then I'm gonna play the original Doom to completion, mind you. And yeah, MK1 and Destiny 2. All right, all right. Yeah, because I fuck around with fighting games a lot. Like, my, my two favorite genres are, like, RPGs and fighting games. But I do also have a love for FPSs that aren't just, like, military shooters. Uh, especially ones that also have, like, a single, like, a, a solid campaign. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm mostly retro, but if it's not retro, it belongs to an old series... Or it belongs to an established IP, or it's an RPG or a fighting game. <laughs> oh, Crisis Core? Uh, so, is it uh, original Crisis, Crisis Core, or is it Crisis Core Reunion? Yeah, 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 the fighting zone. Yeah, 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 yeah. After doing Doom, I'll probably... Reunion? Alright. King of Fighters? Oh, dude, I'm... Um, King of Fighters, Tekken, uh, Street Fighter, MK, DOA, KI. <laughs> I just love fighting games, man. I even like the janky shit. Now there are limits. 
I don't like all the janky shit, but I do like a lot of the janky shit too. So you sense that someone other than the regular film crew was in the studio? A friend of mine is bu busy with that DBZ. Yeah. Hi. Hey, speed! Yeah, I know. I know. I'm... I, I have KI on my docket. I do, I do have the uh, uh, KI on my docket, it's just, it's in a queue, <laughs> it's in a queue. Oh. So you sense that someone other than the regular film crew was in the studio? Yes, I think. I think? Doesn't cut it in a witness testimony. Nick! What about the security lady? If someone else came into the studio, she must have seen them! Alright. So we got some more information. Alright, anything else? Backpack? Ladder? Body? No. Alright. Busy with Twitch? Nah, you all good. You good. I've been too busy with YouTube and I've completely neglected my Twitch channel, which I will fix eventually, I promise. I promise I'll eventually stream on Twitch. I'll, 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 I'll move back into streaming on Twitch after, uh, after doing Toomba, I think. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Yeah! Alright, I love this bitch right here. <laughs> what? You're still here? Really? You look as though you've seen a ghost. Ara, ara! <laughs> um. 90% of the fan base hates this bitch. I find her fucking hilarious. Why? I saw that suspicious look on your face. I wanted to ask you again about yesterday. You came here at 1 p.m., correct? And the estimated time of Hammer's death was 2.30. Are you sure that Powers was the only one to go through here between those times? Sure as can be. But we have a witness who thinks there was someone from outside here that day. Bro, Fire Lord needs to talk to you about your voice about voice acting. It's spot on. Oh man, thanks. I I do male voices way better though. <laughs> what? Are you absolutely sure you were here watching the whole time? Ma'am? Who was it? Who did you that? Who dares question me? Eek. All right, you better tell me, tell me quick, you spiky-haired cretin! Someone's been complaining about the work I do, eh? Uh, um, we we was just talking to the assistant in Studio One. Her? She's not even a full-time employee. All you youngins are like that nowadays, ready about to resign tomorrow, saying that all of the other things that I knew a thing about, respecting your elders, shame of the youth answers. Ah! <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I'd definitely be interested. She laughed. Well, Nick? <clears throat> well, Nick? Well, Nick, this is our chance to do what we came without her looking over her shoulders. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> oh, dude, dude. You have no idea, like, this, this, this bitch. The computer that runs the studio security by cameras. Nick! Maybe we can see that photo of Powers with this computer! Yeah, maybe. Should I try the computer? Okay, let's give it a try. You know how to work these things, Nick? Looks like I just have to enter in a few numbers. Let's see. First, I need the date of the murder. Looks like the camera turned on at 1 p.m. that day. One. That was when the security lady arrived at the guard station. Please enter the number of the security camera. There! Entered! Nothing happened! Huh? Maybe I got the wrong number wrong. Maybe we should go look at that camera again? There! Entered! Okay, I just wanted to make sure there wasn't any additional fluff. Alright. 307. There! Entered! Hey! It printed out the data for that day! Let's see what we got! Huh? How is this a picture of Will Powers? So I don't know if you're noticing this, but like those pants are way too big for whoever's wearing this costume. Because Will Powers is fucking huge! He's like... He's like some Terry Crews shit, right? Which means this is definitely not Will Powers wearing this costume, right? It's someone shorter than him. Well, he is the one who always wears the suit. I guess that's why the security lady thought it was him. I don't imagine the detective was very happy with this photo as evidence. Hmm? Something printed on the back! Huh? October 5th, 2 p.m., photo number 2. What does that mean? Maybe there's more photo data from that day? Nope, that's the only one in the computer. So that means someone deleted a picture on the computer. Hmm. Hey. Hey, Nick. Can't we use this photo as evidence for the trial? Yeah. We'll put that security lady in her place with this. Right! We'll put her in her place. Hey, that's what I said! Anyway, let's show her this photo and see what she says. Wait, let's not. Why not? It's never a good idea to reveal your hand to the enemy too soon. Nick, you're craftier than I give you credit for. Why, you could be the next evil magistrate. Hey, why do I have to be the villain? Relax, it was just a joke. So are we done for today? I think this photo is what we needed for the trial. Still, it'd be better if we had some idea who the real killer was. Maybe it really is that security lady? The music, like, the music in these games are like a million times better than they have any right to be. Alright, we're going to court! Court is now in session! Court is... Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. 
Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening statement, please. The prosecution will show that the court at 2.30 p.m. on October 15th, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Hammer in Studio One of Global Studios. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. Ah, hey, honey. <laughs> the evidence presented during the trial will all point to this fact. Mm, I see. Very well. I would like to move on to to some testimony, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution may call its first. Witness. Very well. I call a most familiar face, Detective Gumshoe, to the stand. The de de detective, if you would briefly describe this case to the court. Yes, sir. I'll explain with the guide map here. To understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studio, see? This here is the employee area. The actors did a run-through of their action scenes during the morning here. This is the main gate to the studios. The security lady that works at the studios was here at 1 p.m. on that day. Past the security station, there is a gate, see? Past that are the studios. And here it is, Studio One. This is the scene of the murder, where the body was found. Now, on the day of the murder, October 15th, there were only three people there. The victim, Jack Hammer. The defendant, Will Powers. And a young woman, the production assistant. All the production staff were in the employee area until noon. Then after lunch, the victim, Jack Hammer, went to Studio One. Right after that, at 1 p.m., the security lady got to the guard station. Now jump ahead to later that day, 5 p.m., the production staff came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was cancelled. The time of death was 2.30 p.m. The samurai spear found lodged in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. That's the case, in brief. Anyone like to hear that again? Hmm, so should I listen to the whole thing again? I think I can probably remember that. <laughs> it's the assistant. So the murder weapon was a spear. How medieval. Your order. This case is quite simple. If you ask one question. And that question is, what did the security lady at the guard station see? Understood. Let's call the security officer to the stand. <laughs> For the acting, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Witness the fan. Will the witness declare her name? Hmm. My, aren't you a handsome fellow? I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'm a bit flustered. <laughs> Your name, please. Oh, Derry, no need for you to be embarrassed. Just call me Grandma Ara Ara. Your name, please! Seems Edgeworth has a bit of trouble getting his witness to say their names. Witnesses. 
Wendy, old bag, dearie. So just call me grandmas, or even when I was young, still other children when they thought of me was gonna believe it. It was just a boy who just gonna be called the old bag, probably because I. Oh, objection! I object to the witnesses' talkativeness. Objection sustained. The witness will refrain from rambling on the stand. I was just getting to the good part, dearie. Perhaps we can get to the testimony? Now the witness was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? Yes, say I was. And to get to the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you. You know your stuff, dearie. Ara ara. You may begin your testimony. She sure is one hell of an old bag. Yeah, Wendy old bag. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta jam whenever I hear this. Kick the beat in. Oh, next layer. Kick it. Sorry. This would make for such a good hip hop beat. <laughs> On the day. <clears throat> Oh, oh, this series will bring their riffs. Like the fucking, the music in this series, just... <clears throat> On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Poor old Hammer and the rest had been doing a run through there since the morning. I, well, had some errands to run that morning. Anyway, it was one when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from then until 5. Now, the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? Interesting to me, because a certain man walked right by me at 2 p.m. It was Bowers! That man right there, and he was heading toward the studio! You're meddling in it in your head? Dude. Man. The, dude, the so the show that they're filming in this um, in the studio, Steel Samurai. The theme song for that is such a fucking banger, and it's so easy for you to like replace certain parts of them with like a solo L guitar, like. <laughs> It's so good, man. Mwah. Music. The music. Like, Capcom brought their, like, Street Fighter A-quality mate material of music to, to this anime lawyer series. <laughs> <clears throat> you saw the defendant, then. Very well, let's begin the cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Alright. Hold it! Hold it! So up until that time, anyone who wanted to go... Uh... Anyone who wanted to could go into the studio. Well, there wasn't a security guard at this gate, no. But the main gate was locked, Derry. Hey, blah! You need an employee card key to get in, ara ara! Right. The card key that I have. So, what she's saying is no one who wasn't supposed to be there could get in. Was there anyone at the studios when you arrived at the guard station? Poor old Hammer and the... Poor 
old hammer had been doing a run-through there since the morning. A run-through? They were working at a scene between the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate. They got the basics figured out by noon, and we and were to use the afternoon for practice. Rehearsal was supposed to start at 5. That's why poor old Hammer went to Studio One in the afternoon. So Powers was in his dressing room sleeping when he was supposed to be practicing. Talk about a laid-back hero. If there was a run-through in the morning, why did you only get there after noon? I, well, I had some errands to run that morning. What kind of errands? Oh, well, you know... Answer the question! Actually, I was watching poor Hammer and Powers, observing, you know. Uh, observing? Weren't you supposed to be at the guard station? Whippersnapper! I told you I locked the gate, didn't I? I need my job! I'm not sure your boss would see it that way. Anyway, I always watch Hammer's runs through, run throughs. Always! Never missed one in all my years. Wow! I want to see a Steel Samurai run through too! You could quit being a spirit medium and take up guard duty. Not a bad idea. <clears throat> Did you see the victim then? Did I see poor old Hammer? Nope. He'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Tell us what happened next. I was at the main gate from then until 5. Now, the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? Wait. Did I skip that? So you were watching there the whole time? No breaks? Not even a second? Uh, of course! I'm a professional, you know! Or are you criticizing how I do my job, Weber Stubber? No, it's just after seeing you eating those donuts in the guard station yesterday. I can watch the gate and eat donuts at the same time! Oh, Snipper Whipper! Snipper what? Snipper Whipper? Old Windbag is losing it, Nick. Why don't you raise an objection? So, the witness was on duty through the afternoon the whole time. Very well. What did you see? Oh man, get well, Mala. Alright. How did you know that? <laughs> I have my ways. That overdressed young detective told me. Ara ara. I fed him some donuts, and he talked and talked. If you ask me, that detective isn't cut out for his job. Poor Detective Gumshoe, getting ratted out by a security guard. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, this this granny is amazing. She's so fucked up, man. And it only gets worse or better from here. <laughs> I think she's one of the funniest characters in the series. Two? Are you sure? No, you're sure? Sure as fit. Well, who was the man? Really? You should try not to get so excited, your age. You might strain something. Now, now, 
Don't get your skivvies all in a bunch. I'll tell you, tell you who, who it was. It was Powers, that man right there. And he was heading toward the studio. So you saw Mr. Powers? That's what I said. Got wax in your ears, Sonny? Nick, this is your chance. Yeah, time to pull out the secret weapon. I'll say it again! It was him! Okay, okay. If I do this. Nick? Doesn't she seem like she's enjoying this a little too much? Windbags love gossiping about other people's misfortunes. Uh, can't she get her kick somewhere else? Alright. Let's, uh, let's, let's, uh, contradict her with evidence, shall we? Objection! Objection! Let me get this straight, old bag. Uh, Miss Old Bag. You've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? But you are talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? J just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. What is this exactly? None other than the Steel Samurai, defender of Neo Old Tokyo. <clears throat> nah, Sindel is sexy. This this bitch is like dust. <laughs> is this Mr. Pow is this the Mr. Powers you saw? Of course. Didn't your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? Anyone can plainly see that's Powers, right? Uh, no, they can't. Uh, well, I mean, I wonder. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. But that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. Yeah. I, I know that. I wasn't born yesterday. No one in this court is accusing you of that, Miss, uh, Witness. He's having trouble calling her Old Bag, apparently. However, you, however, you do not have, you do not have the proof that the person in this photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? Hm. Nosy old man. Of course I have proof. What? What? <laughs> Even Edgeworth is surprised? The, the prosecution would like to ask the old... the witness. Please make known all the information in your possession ahead of time. Hmm. How was I to know everyone would be so nosy? You should be ashamed, all of you! Anyway, I showed that photo to the young detective. He told me this isn't any good as evidence, pal. He didn't even give it a second look. Wow, old windbag has left even Edgeworth speechless. She's good. Let's hear about your proof then. <laughs> I never say anything. I don't mean, mind you. That morning, during the run-through of the action scene, I saw Powers trip and fall. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now, look at that picture. You can see he's dragging his leg, see? Clear as day. That's how I knew it was Powers. Happy? Hmm. So he had sprained his ankle? Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine the witness. She's got to be hiding something. I'll press her until she squeals.
A Sindel face? <laughs> Malai, now you too! <laughs> nah, leave my, leave my sexy Milfy Sindel alone! <laughs> <coughs> um... What is that? Hey, I haven't even said anything yet! I'll have you know, I'm not pointing fingers at anyone behind their backs! Everything I've said is on the straight and narrow! The up and up! You two daddy always hot as what it is you're trying to make an old... Mr. Wright? Please, for all of our sakes, try not to upset the witness. I think Edgeworth has met his match. That morning, during the run-through of the action scene... Morning. Who is present at the run's run-through? Well, let's see. There is Powers, he's the Steel Samurai, then poor old Hammer, the evil magistrate, and me, Ara-Ara. And what exactly were you doing? Observing, just observing. What about the assistant? Oh, she was off moving backdrops around and such. So she didn't see the run through them. Trip and fall? Yes! And to think he's supposed to be the Steel Samurai. What a laugh! So Power sprained his ankle. He helped make it better for him, of course. I helped make it better for him, of course. You... helped make it better? I kissed it where it hurt. L let's just skip over that part, shall we? Where was the assistant then? Oh, her? She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Powers' ankle. Hmm. You may continue your testimony. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. He broke a prop? Sure did. His own samurai spear. The samurai spear? The murder weapon? Luckily, I was there with my duct tape to fix it. This strikes me as a significant detail. I'd better write this down in the court record. Was Mr. Power's ankle badly sprained? Not so bad that he couldn't walk around. He went to the dressing room to rest up after lunch. Bust a nap. Anyway, I saw him dragging his foot when he walked. Dragging his foot? Okay. I think we've heard enough. <clears throat> I think we've heard enough. Haven't we, Your Honor? Well, there's one thing that bothers, bothers me. Which is... Where is the Steel Samurai costume now? Um... Hmm... Actually, well... We couldn't find it. We're looking, though. Hmm... Anyway, that's not important. The witness did see the Steel Samurai, yes. <laughs> and it is clear that the person in the Steel Samurai suit was Mr. Will Powers. Mm, I suppose that's right. Are you sure you're sure, Your Honor? Hold it right there! We keep talking possibilities, but we have to agree that this photo shows the Steel Samurai. Nowhere in this photo can we see Mr. Will Powers! Hmm... The defense has a point. I also wonder if someone else not caught on camera could have killed Mr. Hammer. We have to consider that possibility also.
Then allow me to remove that doubt from your mind, Your Honor. Will the witness continue her testimony, please? No need to ask twice. The time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m., true? The only person I saw go to the studio before that was Will Powers. No one else went there. Oh, thanks. <laughs> if they had, I would have seen them. Hmm. So if no one else went to the studio, then it would have to be the Steel Samurai who did it. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Hold it. How do you know that? Eh? Didn't I just explain? I gave donuts to the young detective. And then, after some rubbish about it being a secret, pal, he told me everything. I see Detective Gumshoe shares his fellow officer's fondness for donuts. The only person I saw go to the studio before then was Will Powers. Are you absolutely sure? Oh, quite, quite, Sonny. Nobody suspicious looking passed by at all. Nobody suspicious looking. Right. Hold it. What about before you got to the guard station? You mean before one? Why everyone was in the employee area before then. And I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Not to mention. If they had, I would have seen them. Old Windbag sure has balls, or, well, you know what I mean. Old Windbags have a way of skipping over important details after all. Or for that matter, entirely forgetting them. How convenient. Something for you to look forward to, perhaps? <laughs> Are you sure? The witness has answered the question. Anyone going into the studio had to pass by the witness. That's right, Sonny! You let up a heavy, edgy boy! E edgy boy? Alright. Nobody else went there. Really now? Objection! Objection! Hold on! Look at this photograph! Look at this photograph! One more time! This photo was taken by the camera at the gate for the studios, correct? Yes sir, Sonny! So whenever anyone passes by here, it automatically takes a picture. And here I thought you didn't know your head from a hole in the ground. Ara ara. Right. Anyway. It's also true that the computer in the guard station records all security cam data. Ooh! You know, if you wanted to work at the studio, we might have an opening. That very computer printed out this photo. Note that on the back of the photo are printed the words October 15th, 2 p.m. photo number 2. Even I know that means it was taken at 2 p.m. on October the 15th. Really, Sonny? Actually, I knew that too. The issue here is the bit at the end where it says photo number 2. Photo number two? The computer only held data for one photo that day. 
Don't you think that's odd? Shouldn't this photo be photo number one if it really was the only photo? Old windbag goat. Order, order! Please tell the court what you mean by this, Mr. Wright. Actually, that's what I want to ask the witness. This! Hold on. All right, all right, all right. This evidence shows that not one, but two people went to the studio that day. That's how you, that's how you look ultra intelligent while you make an argument, by the way. <clears throat> Yet, there is only data for one of the photos. Who could have erased the data for the other photo? The security lady herself! Yeah! You want your mouth, Webber The only person I saw that day was Will Bowers! But the camera on the gate fired twice! That means two people went by! Uh, well... Yes. That's what it would seem to mean. Can the witness explain this to the court? I, uh, I, I don't understand these newfangled computer things. Uh, 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 uh. Um, Edgy Boy, help! Uh, 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 believe me, I want to, but I don't know what this means either. <laughs> Somehow you are! You're a whippersnapper too! Whippersnapper? Something the matter, Miss Soulbag? Ah, that's right! I... I just remembered something! Ara ara! Let me guess... Someone else passed by the gate. Someone other than the Steel Samurai? Uh, well, yes. I suppose you could put it that way. Ara ara. <sighs> I see. Your testimony, please. Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos recorded on the security computer and check them. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. Come to think of it, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. Miss Olberg, this is the first I've ever heard of this. Well, of course, Sonny. I've only just remembered it. Ada Ada. Right. Anyway, uh, Mr. Wright, please begin the cross-examination. Well, I'd say this was a turn from the unexpected, but I kind of expected this. Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I go... <coughs> <Hold it. coughs> 
Another job? Th th that's right. I check all the people that pass by the main gate that day. I look closely at every one of the photos that security camera takes. Do you back up all of the security camera data? Well, they keep telling me to, yes. But those computers are just so frustrating. How exactly do you determine what, determine what isn't suspicious looking? Oh, you can tell by looking at their faces, for the most part. For the most part? This is a murder trial, Miss Old Bag! Well, I didn't touch a suspicious on you, but I was not in it, I... I think she's missing the point. Come to think of it, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. Well, who in the heck was in that photo you erased? Huh, a fanboy. Fanboy? Steel Samurai fanboys. Real freaks, if you ask me. They get information about the rehearsals from gosh knows where. They're always hanging about. One was there that day. Objection! W wait a second. Didn't you just say no one else could get in? I locked the main gate so no one could get in. No. I locked the gate so no one could get in. Those were your words. Well, if you must know, there's a drain that goes into the employee area. The grate has been loose for a while. It leads to outside and, well, that's where they come in. They come in through the drain? I told you they were freaks! Oh, and? And? They're kids! Children! Whippersnappers! K kids So on the photo that you erased? It was a boy, probably second or third grade. Ara ara! <coughs> Order! Order! Let me get this straight. You saw two people pass by the gate on the way to the studio that day. One was the steel samurai dragging his leg. The other was a boy who was locked to be in about second or third grade. Oh, well, we see his type there every day. Can't stop him. Can't catch him. A boy in second or third grade? Hmm. I assume it would be hard, if not impossible, for a young boy to wield the samurai spear. Impossible, I think. It's quite heavy. Right! As I said, I didn't pay him much mind, ara ara. That's why I erased the data. Uh, Nick? What's going on? I mean, the boy was there, that makes him a suspect. Yeah, and they're already trying to unsuspect him. This court will take a five minute recess. I want the defense and prosecution to consider this new information. And no forgetting vital information this time! Alright. We got through round one with that fucking <coughs> old bag. <clears throat> Mr. Powers? Y yes Tell me straight. Were you really in your dressing room? You didn't go to the studio? Uh, I didn't go to the studio. I was s s sleepy. Honest. So who was to steal Samurai in that security photo? Who should I know? The Steel Samurai caused 
steel samurai costume was off in the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it, really. What? You should take better care of that stuff. I couldn't imagine anyone would want to steal a steel samurai costume. So, where does this leave me? It doesn't look good. <laughs> You're the only likely suspect right now. Nick! What are we going to do? First, we play for more time. We'll start by targeting someone else that could conceivably have done this. Right! And it'll take them so long to shoot us down that we can get another day! Right. But if we pick the wrong person, we might lose on the spot. You don't sound very optimistic. I'm not optimistic at all, actually. Hey, Nick, it's time! Okay, let's go. <sighs> what does that mean? Please don't sigh like that. <laughs> Who will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Will Powers? Mr. Edgeworth, will you present the prosecution's thoughts on this matter? The prosecution's thoughts are simple. Nothing has changed. The other person who went to the studio was a boy of roughly 10 years of age. The photo we do have may not be hard evidence, but there is still no one else that could have committed this crime. I call for a verdict of guilty for the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. Very well, Mr. Wright. Your thoughts? The defense disagrees with the prosecution's claims. There is another person who could have committed the cr this crime. Order! Interesting. Let us hear who you have in mind. However, be aware this court does not look kindly in accusing the innocent. If you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. Right. Great. As if the stakes weren't high enough. So who was this person, other than Mr. Powers, that could have been the murderer? <coughs> Guys? Let's accuse Old Bad. It'll be fun. <laughs> or do you disagree? I'll, I'll take a tiny bathroom break, and I'll get some new coffee, and I'll let you decide. You! You, Chad! You! I'll let you decide. Who do we charge for the murder? Who do we accuse of the murder instead of Will Powers to buy us time? The assistant? The schoolboy? Or Wendy Oldbag? I will be in chat on my phone while I'm gone. Gone.
Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting my coffee, but I forgot my coffee cup. However, who do I charge for the murder? I need to charge someone else from the murder to buy time so we can get another day in court. I'll leave it up to chat. Um, where did I? Yeah, I did actually.
Also, my vape decided to go fuck itself uh, regarding charging, I guess, so that's fun. Let's go for old bag then. It was the security lady! Wendy old bag! Uh, oh! The steel samurai is dragging his leg in this picture. That means whoever was in the suit knew about that morning's injury. Maybe because they had been watching the action scene run through. There was only one person other than Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. The security lady, Old Bag. What? 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 I stop her! Order, order. Is this true, Old Bag? Old Bag? That's Miss Old Bag to you. Miss Oldbag was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she has no alibi. She could have briefly left her post to steal the Steel Samurai costume. Then slipped into Studio One, the scene of the murder. Why would she go through the trouble of wearing the Steel Samurai costume? Simply, Your Honor. She knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. If she was in the in his costume, she could point the finger at Mr. Powers. I see! Excellent deductive reasoning, Mr. Wright. Oh yeah, right here. Sher Sherlock Holmes the second, baby. That's odd. Isn't this the part where Edgeworth pounces? Doesn't he usually jump up with an objection and some new damning evidence? Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? The prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. Wh what What's that supposed to mean? Oh, so you all think I did it? Is that it? Hey, boy, don't you sit there and do something. What's my move? Maybe now's my chance to take this the whole way? <clears throat> the very same reasoning that makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case can be used to cast doubt on Miss Oldbag's action on that day. But why would I do something so horrible to poor Mr. Hammer? You forget that Mr. Powers lacks a clear motive, too. Hmm. Indeed. That did it. Now Windbag is one now Windbag is one of the suspects. No hard feelings. I hope. Wait just a minute! What about the other person who went to the studio? The boy! The one whose photo I erased! He's only a grade schooler though, and as you said, second or third grade was it? Th that doesn't matter! 
When I was that age, I could pin my old man in 10 seconds stops! Hmm. Your thoughts, Mr. Right? That boy is not the killer. What? How can you be so sure? Oh, is it... Is it be nice to the kids and mean to your elders day? Whippersnapper! I have proof. <laughs> Pro -pro? Indeed. Indeed? Then let us see this proof, Mr. Wright. You have proof that shows the boy could not have been committed... Could not have committed this murder? Take that! Your Honor, the murder weapon was the samurai spear. That very spear is shown here in this photo. How could the boy have taken the spear? It's impossible. I see. Well, would the witness care to comment on this? Nah. The windbag, speechless. This has got to be a first. Very well. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Mr. Edwards, please find out more about your witness, Miss Windy. Uh, what was her name? Something old bag, your honor. Then the prosecution will look further into this old bag before you can continue. That is all. The court is adjourned. What? Wait a second! Oh, the jam! Man, be honest, this is everybody's fucking jam. <laughs> this track is the shit. Steve is so good. It belongs to a fictional TV show in an anime lawyer dating. In an anime lawyer simulator visual novel. Why is it so good? <laughs> I want the Steel Samurai in Marvel vs. Capcom just so this track can be added to a fighting game. <laughs> Just going to sit him while you run up barking on the wrong tree! Me! I'm talking! Oh great! Stop the presses! The windbag wants to talk! Miss Zobag, what is this all about? Have you omitted something from your testimony? Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. N not to talk about? By, by whom? Huh? You mean it wasn't Edgeworth who told her not to talk? W well, testify. Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were... 
some other people at the studios on the day of the murder. Ara ara. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? So they told me to just pretend they hadn't been at the studios that day. But if you're... But if you're accusing... Going to accuse me! I'm not letting them get away scot-free! Miss Holbag! This is crucial... Crucial information! Why did you keep this from the court until now? Ain't you been listening? They told me to shut my trap. And I always do what I'm told. Ara ara. No, this isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. Witness the power of the old bag. Mr. Wright, your cross examination. So you're told not to talk. That's right. <clears throat> By the studio and the TV bigwigs, no less. Why didn't I hear about this? Don't be too, too hard on yourself, Sonny. We were all in on it. <clears throat> These people! Well, the director and the producers, for starters. I love this so much when the beat kicks in. The director? We should have known something was fishy. How can they have done a run-through of their action scene without a director? Of course! Yes, well, I was surprised no one asked about it. Kick it! So where were these people? The director was in the employee area all morning for the run-through. He joined the producer around lunchtime and they had a meeting after that. Where? <clears throat> Where? Oh, in the Studio 2 trailer. Ara ara. S studio 2? There was a Studio 2? Well, if you look at the guide map, here it is. You go through the gate and all the way to the left. The path where the monkey's head was fallen over. Well, Mr. Wright, would you like to continue the cross-examination? I think I've already asked all my questions, but... This is where the beat kicks in. This is where the beat kicks in. Six sexy ass motherfuckers in the chat. Hope you're having a good ass day with these jams. Hold it. Me 
this old bag. This is a trial for murder. I know that's silly. Still, they were pretty convincing about having nothing to do about with it. And they gave me a little bonus on the side. So you got your bonus and you still talked? Hmm. I think I've asked all the questions I need to ask. No, no, no. Let's milk all the info we can. So they were actually in the studio? Yes, the whole day. When they heard about the murder, they beat it before the cops came. Come on, I'm gonna kill this woman, I swear it. I feel sorry for Edgeworth, almost. She really left him hanging on this one. Whoa, 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 we did this. Hold on. She went back to the beginning. All right, I'll find the, the, the line that I haven't pressed on. She told me plan ahead. Pretend they hadn't been at the studios. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. I already... Fuck! I hate that it resets to the start of the questioning. Oh, and then she goes into saying the same shit she did on the first line? What? Yup. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna stop pressing then. I'll end the cross-examination. Take a break. Your Honor, we have learned there were others at Global Studios on the day in question. The director and the producer and uh, some bigwigs were all present. Yet, as we stand here, they have not been questioned. I hold that it is impossible to declare a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. Mm. The court acknowledges the defense's point. The prosecution will gather more information about the witness, Miss Oldbag, and more information about these other people we have just been told of. I understand, Your Honor. This ends today's proceedings in the trial of Mr. Will Powers. That is all. The court, this court is adjourned. Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I was right to ask you to defend me. Oh, really? <clears throat> it's nothing. <laughs> or should I? <clears throat> we'll be going down to the studios to do some more investigating. We have to find out more about this director and producer. They'll be turning up in the next trial as witnesses for certain. So now's my chance to get material for the cross-examination. So, Nick, have we figured out just who it was in that Steel Samurai costume? Could it really have been old windbag? What do you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was her, really. Neither do I, Nick. <laughs> yeah, I know. Look, I was just buying time back there. Someone had to be the bad guy for a bit to take the pressure off Mr. Powers. Poor old windbag. I feel kind of sorry for her. Well, she wasn't winning any points in there, with or without my accusation. Okay, let's get down to the studios. Right! <clears throat> we'll be back to visit you soon. Th thanks. 
Thanks, guys. <laughs> All right, we're on to day two. Day dos. What time is it, by the way? Just so I know how much stream time I have left. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm fine. Time for some more investigation, baby. <clears throat> Whew, what a day. This is no time for relaxing, Nick. Say, you think WP's got a chance? I guess that really depends on the people we found out about in today's trial. What do you mean, who did it, Mala? The this we're still investigating. This is day two. We just bought time. The case is not over. We're still investigating. But we did decide to accuse Wendy Oldbag of the murder just to buy time. <clears throat> the director and producer. Yeah, them. Well, what are we doing here then? Let's get to the studios! There's a horrendous amount of legal books here. Scarier still is the thought that I have to read all, the, all of these now. Mia's desk, actually. It's my desk now. Sitting here always makes me feel like a professional. Mia's favorite potted plant. Maya has been watering it so much lately, it looks a little swollen. She's either trying to make it grow, or she's perfecting her water torture technique. A poster of an old movie that Mia liked. <clears throat> I was thinking I should go see it myself. Then I realized that the poster doesn't actually save the title of the movie. It's a nice day outside. The hotel across the way is always full of these days. Mala? Mala, how could you? There's the bellboy, happily cleaning the room. You, you didn't have to kill him, Mala, it's fine. Like, he was an actor, he wasn't a real evil magistrate, he wasn't gonna do anything. What do you think we should do? What do I... Huh? Why don't we do what you just said? We, we gotta get this scoop on this director and producer. Oh, right. Then there's no point in hanging out here. That's what I've been saying! Let's get to those studios pronto! Hmm... We don't have enough information to make a case yet. It's exactly the same thing you said yesterday. Just admit it, you don't have a clue what happened. <clears throat> There's not enough information. <clears throat> Alright. Hey, see this? You really like showing that off, don't you, Nick? Sorry, I don't know how this will... That will help us figure this out. Hey, you still have that. Great! Well, we couldn't get into the scene of the murder without it. And its owner isn't missing it in his detention cell. Poor old W... <coughs> Poor old WP. You know, what if this really was Mr. Powers? Yeah, it's hard to say. We don't really know anyone else it could be. I seriously doubt it was that old, old windbag. So Mr. Powers is... lying? He really doesn't seem the type, does he? Curiouser and curiouser. That's a nice Alice uh, in Wonderland reference. Yeah, she does nothing. 
I wish I had my own samurai spear. You'd be my own personal pin cushion, Nick. Me? Why me? They didn't update it to her name. Okay. All right, let's hit up the detention center first. <clears throat> oh, Mr. Wright, thank you for earlier. Not at all. We, we got lucky, to tell you the truth. You can say that again. Let's not. So, WB, do you have any leads that might get us in the right direction? Hmm... This is sorry, but no. Be sure to tell us anything that comes to mind, no matter how small. We can't rely on getting lucky again tomorrow. Y yes. <laughs> Smile for the camera. This card monitors the visitor's room. Oh, yeah. Regarding the murder weapon. Yes? Is it heavy, that spear? You say it's the assistant? Possible. It's pretty hefty, yeah. I don't think the average person would be able to swing it around effectively. Hmm. And that's the spear that broke or something during the morning run-through? Oh, yes. I goofed on a round kick, you see. I broke the spear. The security lady fixed it for me right away, though. With duct tape, we heard. Hey, speed, you're back, amigo. All right. Excuse me. Thank you for showing me that. Whatever it is. I wish I could think of some way I, I could help you. S sorry Regarding this photograph. Y yes This really truly absolutely isn't you, right? R right I was sleeping in my dressing room the whole time. Honest. But who else could have worn it? Your costume was in your dressing room? Yes. I guess they snuck in and took it while I was asleep. But who? We found this card key in your dressing room. Oh, that's mine, yes. Can people outside the studio get these cards? I don't think so. Even I have to return the card. Once the show is done filming, that is. Huh. Yeah, he doesn't know anything. He doesn't know what that is either. All right. Do, uh, fanboys? Sneak into the studio often? No, not that I know of. That security lady is pretty strict with them. But in today's testimony, didn't she say they were often hanging around? The kids really, really love the Steel Samurai. They sneak past when she's not looking, I guess. Was the director present at the morning run-through? Yes. Yes, he was. He was directing how the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrates should move. Why didn't you tell us that before? W well, just... The studio asked us to keep quiet. That has nothing to do with this! I hate to repeat myself, but Nick here is a newbie lawyer, fresh off the bar. When he loses, he's going to lose big. 
Uh, I see. Whose side is she on? You aren't hiding anything else from us, are you? No, I sure hope not. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the studio. This is gonna be great. She'll be so happy to see us. No one's here! Right. Now that they have Miss Oldbag in custody, I guess they don't have anyone else to replace her. Hey! In the guard station! Look! She left her donuts! What? I wasn't going to eat them! Yes, you were, Maya. Yes, you were. Looks like a studio van. They probably use it to carry around film equipment. The main entrance to the studios. They probably have a police officer on patrol out there. An overhead map of the studios. Right from here is the employee area. To the left are the actual film studios. The security guard station. This old bag must like junk food. There's a mountain of it on the desk in there. The computer that runs the studio security cameras. Huh? Looks like it's been turned off for the day. Let's go here first. Look! It's that assistant girl. Hey! I WP's lawyer, right? I heard about I heard about the trial. Great job, guys. Oh! Oh! oh, 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 oh. Don't mention it. Is it true they caught the security lady? Oh! 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 Ha, 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 ha. Actually, she just called me. She told me to cover up that drain. You mean that one? <clears throat> wow, what a mess. Uh, I know. I'm not so good with how handwork. Some assistant, right? Yeah, but you do work on the props and the backdrops, right? R right. Because lots of times they end up looking worse than all they did before I fixed them. Oh. Oh. Well, I'm sure these things happen. Nothing to worry yourself about. <clears throat> You're right. I won't. Personally, I think she should worry at least a little bit more. Uh, if you all excuse me, I have to go to the guard station. I'm supposed to fill in for this old bag. Right! See you later then! Good luck with your investigation. There's a sign on the dressing room door. Will Powers. It must be neat to be the star and have your own room like this. You think it's her? A window into the dressing room. A glass is frosted so I can't see inside. Let's see. Cola, candy, chips, gum. Huh. It's so normal. I was expecting some cool theme snacks or something. Popcorn at least. W wait! Look! Samurai soda! Nick, try this! Be my guest. Okay. Oh, too bad. It's sold out. Uh, the door to the dressing room. It's not locked. Hey, Nick. Let's go in. Maybe there'll be something else to steal. Hey, we're not thieves! But we did take the card key. We borrowed that! There's a difference! Wait, 
Wait, hold on. Okay. okay. There we go. The remains of the other day's lunch are scattered around. Everyone's probably too shocked to clean up. There's a T-bone on one of the plates, minus the steak. Uh huh. Uh, <clears throat> Looks like one of those electric-powered bicycles. I don't know about these. I mean, what's the point? It makes it a lot easier to go up hills. Don't people cycle to get exercise? There's a half-finished backdrop for a stat. Uh, yeah. For a stage back there. Looks like a castle. Probably Neo Old Tokyo Castle. The grate that used to cover the drain. It's a little bent. I don't think it would fit if I tried to put it back on. Yeah, you think it's Penny? So, <clears throat> the fanboy they were trying, they were talking about in the trial today, he came in through that drain? So it seems. I guess they covered it up in a hurry. Hey. Hey, Nick. If that drain's covered, the boy won't be able to get in. Uh, yeah, I think that was the idea. I feel kind of sorry for him, though, don't you? What, you want to rip the grate off? Really, Nick? We can? Whoa, she's serious? Uh-oh. Well, I guess some things are just made to be broken. Yay! You know, Nick, you're pretty swell sometimes. Sometimes? Hiya! There. That should make the kids happy. The thing... The things we do. The drain grate is off. And I know who did it. Now the kids will be able to come in again. Doesn't it make you feel... Doesn't it make you feel great to do a good deed like that? Must be nice to live so free of guilt. <laughs> you think it's the director? All right, y'all, y'all both, y'all both got very valid uh, suspicions. That must be the storage room. That's where they keep all the film equipment. Wow, Nick, you know a lot about the industry. Uh, what else would they keep in a film studio? All right. I got the perfect voice for this, I think. This is where the <clears throat> steel samurai costume was on the day of the murder. That's what Mr. Powers says, at least. I guess they snuck in and took it while he was sleeping. But Nick, what if Mr. Powers hadn't been sleeping? I wonder what the killer was planning on doing then. Huh, she's got a point. If, if I remember correctly. Looks like someone was sleeping here. Maybe Powers did take a nap here, like he said. <clears throat> It's locked. I guess he doesn't open his window much. It's kind of dusty outside. There's some regular suits in among the costumes here. Those must be Mr. Powers' personal clothes. There's a bunch of snacks on the table. They must give these to the employees. Some tea and cookies. Wait! Nick! W what now? These snacks! They passed the expiration date! Then don't eat them! Alright. They always have mirrors like this in the dressing rooms. I see my hair is still nice and spiky, just how I like it. Alright. There's an array of cosmetics here. According to Maya, that wig was used in some old TV show. 
Samurai Boogie Woogie. Nick, get with the picture. Look, explain to me how you can identify a show just by seeing a wig. I, um, kind of like samurai movies. Kind of? <clears throat> Mr. Powers' bag. I wonder what's inside. Hey! Supermarket tabloids? Wow! I'm kind of shocked. Maya, leave this alone! Wolfmen found on Mars? I'll have to buy that issue. Wolfmen found on Mars? What the fuck? Alright. <clears throat> oh. Hello. Ho ho! You look a little out of place. It's the clothes, isn't it? I thought my camo, I thought my camo vest might do the trick. Kind of an alternative garden fashion thing. Oh, right, right, right. The security guard station. I can see the computer that runs the security cameras. Oh, please don't touch anything in there. The security lady would knock the stuffing out of me if she knew. Alright. Penny. Say, you work with the props, right? About the murder weapon. You about the samurai spear? Yeah, it's a prop, but it's still pretty heavy. I hate having to carry that thing around. <clears throat> so you would have to be pretty strong to use that as a weapon, it sounds like. Why is Mr. Powers the only person I can think of? Um, not really sure what that is. Sorry. Could you take a look at this? It's Mr. Powers. Why is he dragging his leg like that? What is this anyway? Looks like she didn't know about this photo or the injury that morning. Uh, never mind. Wow, they gave a lawyer one of those key cards? Card keys? Well, I'm sort of borrowing it. I see. You better be careful not to lose that. They're very strict about those card keys here. I guess they're pretty good about keeping these out of outsiders' hands. Thanks, I'll be careful. Alright, she doesn't know. She doesn't know. Alright. So, how are the studios doing? There's police wandering around everywhere. It's terrible. They won't even let me clean up. Don't want me to disturb the evidence. <clears throat> I haven't even cleaned up our lunch plates for the day of the murder. You mean those plates with the steak bones left over on them in the employee area? Yeah, can you believe it? <clears throat> Do kids sneak it in here a lot? Well, I don't think there's that many of them, but I do see one in particular. He's always gawking at the sets or slapping pictures. You should see old windbug's eyes flash when she sees him. <laughs> she has a bit of trouble catching him though. I heard something at the trial today. They said that the director and producer were here at the day of the murder. Oh, sorry. I was in the prop storage room, so I didn't see them. I guess they were here, though. The studio head seemed pretty eager to, to keep us quiet. <clears throat> so they were trying to protect the director? More the producer, really. The producers are real star here. She saved the studio from the brink of disaster and kept them running. 
I don't think would still be a business if it weren't for that producer. The producer, huh? Alright. Now we continue. Wait, let's let's check if something updates here now. No, it does not. Alright. Outside Studio One. Hey Nick! It looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here today. <clears throat> You're right. He's probably up to his neck in paperwork after the commotion at today's trial. So Nick, remember that Studio 2 we heard about at the trial today? It was down that path with the fallen tree, right? Yeah, I think that's what they said. Maybe the director and the rest of them are there today. Now's our chance, Nick! Let's check it out! Alright. That's the security camera that automatically takes pictures of people here. It took two pictures on the day of the murder, before the actual time of death. One of them was a steel samurai, the other was a grade school boy. It doesn't seem to be switched on today. It says, welcome! They let people in here when they're not filming, right? <clears throat> Nick, let's come here someday. What do you say? Sure, if that security lady lets us in. <laughs> I'm bushed. Maybe I'll sit down for a bit. This is exactly why I don't want to get old, ever. <laughs> hey, I'm still young. I'm just tired. Nick. When you start having to say, I'm still young, you know it's all over. But, but, I am still young. <laughs> Everybody clowns on Phoenix. This is what the series should really be called. The entrance to Studio One. This is the studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. <clears throat> no clues here. The studio mascot. Apparently it's a monkey of some kind. I've never seen a monkey with a nose like that before. Why don't they put his head back on? Maybe we should ask that assistant. I'm not sure we really want her fixing anything. And you'd probably need a crane to move that thing. Probably so. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, before we move to Studio 2, let's move to Studio 1. I don't really want to be in here. Yeah, it is a murder scene. I want to go someplace else, Nick. Wait. Looks like a backdrop for a stage. Uh, this must be used in the Steel Samurai show. Of course! That's the mountain! Neo Fujiyama! Yeah, yeah, okay. This is, this is shit we already... Yeah, nothing. Uh-huh... Yeah, no, no new dialogue here. Yeah, the, the, the start of the of the lengthy ladder versus step ladder debate. Uh huh. Here we go. Chair director sits in. All right, all right, all right, there's nothing new here. However, let's go to Studio 2, bye B. <clears throat> this place is deserted. Eek! Nick! Nick! What? What was that sound? Eek! It sounded like 
like it came from inside the trailer. Someone must be inside. Hey, hello? No answer. Pretty suspicious if you ask me, Nick. Let's go in. I'm not sure we should be barging in. Huh? It's locked. W what? Don't we have a key? No. But there's probably one in the guard station at the main gate. Then what are we waiting for? Let's borrow it. If they'll let us. The trailer door. It's locked. The key is probably at the security guard station. I doubt they'll let us bo borrow it. Closer inspection, this trailer looks like it's been here for a while. I don't think this is part of some temporary film set. There's some flowers here. Wow, so pretty. They're taking good care of these. Don't get too close. That fence looks dangerous. These look like materials for making a movie set. They've been, they've been sitting here for quite some time. This might as well be a junkyard. There's a big two painted on here. Probably because this is Studio 2? Probably, though it doesn't look anything like a studio. All right, all right, all right. Starting to get somewhere, baby. A light van for moving staff and equipment around. They've kept it in pretty good shape. Looks like it will run fine. <clears throat> well, let's go for a drive. Sure, if I had a license. Nick, you don't have a driver's license? But look, I have this. Why are you showing me your attorney's badge, Nick? An incinerator. Apparently, they just put this one in. It's already covered in soot. They must not clean it much. Looks like two people ate here. There's nothing left on the plates. Hey, so they ate T-bone steaks too? What is with steaks around here? Hey, there's always room for steak. But something does seem out of place. What? I don't know. It just feels odd. All right. Uh -huh. Now, uh, something should have been triggered. Uh, main gate. And then... Employee area. And then... Dressing room? Yes! WTF! What did you do? Let me out? Huh? huh? We, we. You first! Who are you? You look pretty suspicious to me! Whatever, neighbors! How can you not know the great Salmonella? Let's make the leech stones! The steel samurai? Right! RTFC! R really? You're THE Cell Manella? I'm so sorry! I just... You looked so... Sorry! That is quite right! Really? It's fine! R I R I R I R I No, wait, let me think. R O S L! What, what is it? You know, a closer inspection. Hey, did you 
Did you do that at a cut today? Cause that cost you Braxors! Braxors? Why? Hey, you're drooling! Uh, well, both are overrun! <laughs> You have triggered my creative powers! Yes, yes, it's coming to me! Pink Princess! Here's the jam! This is the Steel Samurai theme! The sequel to Steel Samurai! Pink Princess, Warrior of Little Old Tokyo! Pink Princess? Why is it gotta be Little Old Tokyo? Why can't it have a cool name like Neo Old Tokyo? Maya, we really need to talk about cool. There's a bunch of snacks on the table. Let us give these to employees. Hey, hey, Nick! What now? The snacks! There was twice this much here before! Uh, I, uh... I ate them. <laughs> they were past their exhibition day anyway. Uh, uh, R O F L. She's biting her lip and staring at me with tears walling in her eyes. I try not to pay much attention to things that don't interest me. LOL. <laughs> what? Why are you staring at me like that? WP, Ray! How do you know? Well, look, it's obviously dragging his foot. Oh, right, the director would know about the injury. He was there. anything unusual on the day of the murder? Well, I know what you dudes that are that security lady told you about us, eh? That's right. Oh, it's pretty regular day. We are <coughs> Give a second. We had a run through for the action scene in the morning. Then a meeting from lunchtime in the Studio 2 trailer. <laughs> I was so busy, I didn't even get a chance to eat lunch. A T-bone steak, was it? Yeah, suck soys. I hate this kind of food. <laughs> Nick, <clears throat> what does 
suck source mean? No idea. Anyway, I was in a meeting from noon till after four. With the producer and some big wigs from the network. Mr. Hammer's time of death was estimated at 2.30 p.m. If he's telling the truth, then meeting... That meeting gives him an alibi. About the producer who was at the meeting with you. Oh, you mean D. Vasquez? So the pun there, by the way, is that D. Vasquez is named after um, a shooting location they did for uh, Power Rangers. She's a genius. Mad skills all the way. Scary though. <laughs> she brought the studios back for brick and destruction. She's the one you made possible for me to make the steel samurai. You had a meeting with her on the day of the murder, right? Yeah, we we're, were together from noon to 4 p.m. the whole time. Who exactly are these big wigs people keep mentioning? Oh, the boss over at the network and some sponsors. Also a few production guys. They piled into a limousine and got there right around noon. Major tension. We were all... <laughs> were all of them with you the entire time? Yeah, unfortunately. They're all gray and geezer. <sighs> hmm, sounds like they'd all be reliable witnesses. Yeah, yeah, okay. Alright, we're done here. Uh, wait, move. What? Move, uh, main gate. Aha! You again! <laughs> How rude! Acting like you've seen a ghost! You certainly got back- No, you certainly got back to your post quickly. Oh, the police took me away, they did. They pulled out a spare steel samurai costume. Told me to put it on. Can you imagine? How could I, a sweet little old lady, wear a giant suit like that? Mr. Powers is pretty tall. As soon as they saw me, there was no way I could wear it. They let me go. I guess that would rule out her being the murderer. Anyway... No, this webber snubber! This old lady never forgets a slight or insult! You won't get away with that! Won't get any information out of me! My lips are sealed! You sure are talking a lot for someone with sealed lips. Starting now! One, two, three! <clears throat> this lady's too much. Security gates, security guard station. I can see the computer that runs the security cameras. Hey, no touching! Guess I better investigate there later. Uh, about that kid you just saw. If I see him again, I'm taking him down! N -n -n look at her eyes! She she's serious! About the director, the, the the one who was there on the day of the murder? If I see him again, I'm taking him down! Nick? I think she's losing it. I have a feeling she's not going to respond well to anything I show her now.
Uh, let me think. Let's see, was it Studio 2 again? And then... Examine the... No. Oh! I remember! I remember. Uh, main gate. And go back to the employee area. Hey! 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 Wait! I'll bet he came in right through that train. Uh, hey, uh, kitty -o? What's your name, sport? I'm not a... I'm not a kid, so don't talk to me like that! H huh? But you... you are a kid! What a rude little brat! That's no way to talk to an adult! I don't see no adults here, hippie fashion chick! Hi hippie fashion? Nick, I think I'm being mocked! Gotta hand it to Maya. She's pretty sharp and pretty mad. And yeah, by, by the way, um, by the way, project, like you said, flame ruler or some shit. Like if he's looking for uh, uh, voice work, I am. I do appreciate the uh, hookup. If you can hook me up. I really appreciate that. I'm Cody. Cody Hackins. Call me Kitty O again and I'll cut you down where you stand, evil doer. The drain where the fanboy came in. He didn't waste any time coming in either. Talk about cause and effect. Evil doers! Evil doers! <coughs> I'm gonna save because I haven't saved in a long ass time. Alright. So, you're a fan of the Steel Samurai? How dare you... <coughs> How dare you utter that name, evildoer? <coughs> what do you mean? We're on the Steel Samurai side! <coughs> you can't fool... <coughs> no. <coughs> Wait, let me find a good sound. <coughs> no, I, I can't find a laugh for him. You can't fool me! Uh, okay! Then what's the last line said by the innkeeper in episode 8? Ha! Easy! Like some fries with that? Hmm, not bad, kitty -o. Watch it! What are they doing? Say. You heard anything about the incident the other day? Yeah, 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 yeah. Excellent. You were here, weren't you? Did you see anything? He, 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 always, the Steel Samurai always wins, always, yeah, I saw him, I saw everything, what, why, but, but no way am I telling you losers, <coughs> what, wait, let me go, Something fell off the table when he bumped into it on his way out. 
a bottle? Why was this sitting there, I wonder? Sleeping pills. Anyway, what was that kid saying? He saw everything? Yeah, of course. Alright, check this out. Cause and effect, baby. <clears throat> huh? Where's that old windbag? Order her to leave her post. <laughs> hey! Nick? That was her. S Stop! Whippersnapper! Yeah, sounds like she's chasing after that boy. Nitch! Uh-oh, she tripped. Uh-oh, she tripped. Maya sure looks happy. Hey, hey Nick. Now's our chance. Let's check out the guard station. Good idea. Oh! This is it, Nick! The trailer key! The key to that trailer in Studio 2! We'll be borrowing this, right, Nick? <clears throat> okay. Not yet. Uh, outside Studio One. By the way, have I? Okay, that's not examinable at the moment. Right? Nobody here yet. All right, outside Studio Two. I wonder if the key we borrowed from the guard station will work. It opened! Great! Let's go, Nick! She seems eager all of a sudden. Well, you first, Nick! Uh, not that eager. Oh, mama. Now that! So, I'm gonna be real with you. In the Ace Attorney waifu poll, I fo forgot to put her in. I should have put her in. Oh, mama. Anyway. <clears throat> Someone's in here. Names. Uh, our n names. Uh, we're WP's lawyers, and uh. <clears throat> I see. And and who are you? <clears throat> Divasquez. Divasquez. The producer. T. Vasquez? She's quite beautiful. Alright. This is where they had that meeting. There are documents and paper cups scattered around. Nothing in there that could be a clue. Just some paper cups and crumpled documents. Looks like they were designing... Looks like they were designing a set to use for the Steel Samurai show. They've got some figures for how much the set costs. I can't believe they spend that much money on those sets. 
The glass is frosted. I can't see outside. This far into October, the dimming daylight makes it feel like winter is coming. Another old movie poster. The Singing Samurai, starring Jack Hammer. What the hell do samurai sing about? Chopping of heads? Oh. My. God! That movie was the best! It's about a samurai who sings his way to fame and fortune. Mr. Hammer was a very accomplished singer, you know. Singing Samurai Stars? What's next? Ninja Ballet? <clears throat> samurai Summer, starring Jack Hammer. This poster is quite old. Wow! It's been years since I saw that show. It was one of those typical summer romance stories. But it was great! A typical romance... A typical summer romance? With a samurai on a horse? An old movie poster. Dynamite Samurai, starring Jack Hammer. I guess Mr. Hammer used to be quite the star. <clears throat> All right. I'm not interested. I am not interested. I'm not interested. I'm not interested. I was wondering if you could tell me about the day of the murder. Miss Vasquez? Script. Excuse me? Script. I'm looking for a script. A script? The Steel Samurai, episode 13. I need it. Um... Could we ask you a bit about the day of the murder? I need to read it. We're getting nowhere fast. Um, we'd really like to ask you about the Steel Samurai! Miss Vasquez? It's on TV. Every week. That's all I have to say about that. Nick! Nick! She's telling us to go watch TV? The nerve of her! Hey, don't get mad at me. About the director, Sal Manella, was it? What uh, exactly is his role here? Perhaps I didn't make myself clear. I'm looking for a script. I can't be bothered with anything else. Nick? Are all people in the entertainment business this... weird? It's starting to look like it. Nick, let's get out of here! Isn't there someplace else we have to check? Y yeah Wait. <clears throat> yes? If you see Manella... If you see Manella... Give him this. No. If you see Manella... No, there we go. If you see Manella, give him this. Why do we have to do your errands? I... I don't think I like her. <laughs> don't cry. She'll take it as a sign of... Don't cry. She'll take it as a sign of weakness. Alright, we'll give it to him if we see him. The 
Memo reads, bring me the script for episode 13. So hot. Anyway. Main gate. Uh, and play area. Dressing room. Here, I got this from the producer. Huh? Bring the script for episode 13? Episode 13. Where did I put that one? I must have lost it somewhere. <laughs> uh, uh oh. My ass is pooned if I don't find it. <laughs> <coughs> yeah? It might be quicker to just look in all the places where it's likely to have been. I agree. I'm gonna go to the detention center real quick. Nothing! You're not gonna confirm or deny the fact that you use sleep meds? I'd be too useful, wouldn't it? All right. We're back at this. We're back at the scene of the crime. Let's find what we need and get out of here quick, Nick. Hey, look! That's the chair the director sits in. <clears throat> I've always wanted to sit in one of these. The director? Maya! Take a look around that chair for me, would you? Remember that script the director was talking about? Didn't he say he'd left it somewhere? Aha! Uh -huh. Found it, Nick! The script! Good work! Wait, hold on. Let me, let me... Better have something to say about this shit! Script! You didn't read your own script, bruh! Alright. Maya! You have nerdiness. What?! You're not even gonna geek out over the preview? Alright, whatever. Dressing room. We find your script. Thanks. I know. That woman is. Fuck. That woman is to be feared. When you bring something to a day, say, do you think you dudes can take it out of me? Thanks. Is that producer really that scary? Well, she's certainly not normal. <laughs>
All right. You know what? I'm gonna leave y'all with a banger while I go check if my vape actually wants to wants to work now. So wait, fuck! What the fuck am I doing? All right. So this, this. And there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Be right back.
also. Oh, fuck. Ugh. Also. Hi, Dave. Watching in the future. I'm supposed to hit up D Vasquez. Waifu Supreme. So outside Studio One. Outside Studio Two. Trailer. Present script. <clears throat> Here, we found it. Your script. <clears throat> uh. Um. Uh. You're not going to talk to us? Quiet. <clears throat> Quiet. I'm reading. Just you hold on! What's the big idea? Who do you think you are anyway? And do you even know who we are? Power says lawyers. Uh, right. Am I a... <clears throat> am I a suspect? N no It's just... Well, no, but... You wanted to know about the day of the murder? <clears throat> yes! Anything you could tell us would be a big help! <clears throat> you want to know? You know there was a meeting here at noon? <clears throat> yes, with the director and the people from the network. Correct. Now listen closely. None of the people in the trailer that afternoon went to Studio One. It was impossible for us to leave. Impossible? Why? <clears throat> the path was blocked. The path? I'm not interested. On the day of the murder, the path that leads here was blocked? You saw Mr. Monkey on the way here, correct? M Mr. Monkey? The monkey with the broken head. Oh, right, that. What an original name. Its head fell over in the wind on the day of the murder. They didn't start moving the head out of the way until... Three. Until three. It was after four by the time the path was unblocked. Capish? Everyone in this trailer was stuck in was stuck here until the path was clear. Stuck in this trailer. Stuck until after four. Hammer died at 2.30. Thus, none of us could have gone to Studio One. What what? It's true. A crane came just after three to go to move the head. We called some people in to clear the way. I'm sure they'd corroborate my story. But, but wait! What if the head fell over at 2.30? Then you could have gone to Studio One! 2.30. The time of death. Very well. 
Come. That's Mr. Monkey. When it wasn't broken, it announced the time. Oops. One hook per hour. Hook, 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 hook. Always with the hook. It is a monkey, after all. Check its head. The clock inside stopped when it broke. Nick? It stopped at 2.15. 215? That's right. This path was blocked from this path was blocked from 215 till after 4. Therefore, we're innocent. Mr. Hammer died in Studio 1 at 2:30. See? Goodbye. do, Nick? There isn't anyone besides WP who could have killed Hammer. It's over. We're finished. It sure doesn't look good. Guess we should head back to the office and plan our strategy. strategy. Now, what? Now what? We're fresh out of clues. Everyone's alibi is watertight. We don't even have any promising leads. Things are looking pretty grim. It's a little early for giving up, don't you think? Huh? You've got one lead. M Mia! It's you! What took you so long? Sorry, Phoenix. Maya has trouble calling me unless she's in really in trouble. Right! Oh, wait. I guess that means we're really in trouble. I'd say so. What did you mean? We have one lead? The boy, of course. Yeah, I saw him. I saw everything. What? But, but no way am I telling you losers. I don't know. He didn't sound like he was going to help us at all. I'm sure you can find some way of bringing him, bringing him over to your side. Either way, we should go back to the studios. That boy is our last hope, Phoenix. Thanks. Now I'm more worried than I was before. So what's the best thing to do from here? We need to go to the get to the studio and talk to that boy. So do you have any ideas about who might have done this? We don't have enough information to make a case yet. Where have I heard that phrase before? So that's where Maya got it from. Showing me that isn't going to do any good. You know what they say. Dead men tell... Don't tell tales? Sure, talking enough. Alright. I guess Mr. Powers isn't questioning. Oh well. Let's try again another day, Phoenix. Alright. Smile for the camera. What's wrong? Uh, 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 wh 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 
Where's Emma? She's been chasing that boy this whole time. When I get catch him, I... Sounds like she hasn't had any luck catching him. I got a hostage now. Where's Emma? Uh, hostage? Hey! Hey you! Wait a sec! Phoenix, was that the boy? <coughs> yeah, his name's Cody Hackins. I think he ran into the dressing room. All right, let's let's go to the studio first. Uh, what happened to the boy? If I see him again, uh, again, I'll lay, lay him flat. My, why a fight? What a violent old lady! Actually, I met with the director just now. Eh? Uh, my heart. I don't feel so good. Is she okay? Uh, before I go, I'd like to uh, visit the place where poor uh, Hammer died. Right. She was saying she wanted to visit the studio where he died. What's this about a, a hostage? Uh, uh, when that boy was running away, he dropped this uh, and ran. Uh, uh, he, he'll go back uh, uh, for this one. It's kind of hard to understand her with all the humping and puffing. Phoenix, that hostage might be what we need. Cody might talk to us if we gave him that. Good idea. Is it all back? Who? No! I'm catching that run! It's the last thing I do! Phoenix? Uh, Phoenix? Do you have any. have anything you might trade with her? A trade, hmm? I wonder. First. employee area. Sure to be in here somewhere. Some Found you! Damn it! It's getting away! Come back! There, he's back. How did she Hey there? Would you mind helping us out? Please? I I'm Cody. Hello, Cody. I'm Mia. Mia Faye. Nice to meet you. Yo! And I'm Phoenix Wright. Who asked? Phoenix? You can take it from here. I'm not so sure I'm qualified. Still Samurai is so cool! I think he's the, um... The bomb! Huh! What would a lamer like you know about the Steel Samurai? Hey! Watch that attitude! Phoenix, you really shouldn't yell like that. He's only a kid. Yeah! Don't yell like that! I'm only a kid! So, do you know anything about what happened here? Could you tell me, please? I don't know anything. Hmm. Looks like a little persuasion is necessary. Maybe a bribe? What's that? Boring. Man, 
How can one person be so lame? If you were a superhero, you'd be lame man Samurai Spear! That's totally cool! I wish I had one too! This kid and Maya would get along great! Hey! It's the Steel Samurai! Huh? Why is he dragging his foot like that? Where'd you get this anyway? to do. your own card, Miss Old Bag? Studio One is in my turf. Uh, uh, you'll let me borrow? Borrow it then? If I give her the card key, then I won't be able to get into Studio One. Why don't you let her borrow it, Phoenix? I guess it can't hurt. Here we go, Miss Old Bag. Listen to me, Sonny. I don't like having debts to no whippersnappers. You take this and we're even. Deal? What's this? A Steel Samurai trading card? That sneaky kid dropped it. I figure it's pretty important to him, though. Thank you. I might have a use for this. This must be the hostage she was talking about. Right, I'm off. There she goes, hobbling off toward the studio. Fuck! There we go. Cody, this looks familiar. My you are! You are? Huh? You are, you know, ultra rare? That card's really hard to get! Man, for a grown up, you sure are dumb! I'll give you this, if you help me. But that's my card! By offering something I already own, you are in effect is skewing the very basis of our consumer society, namely the principle of fair trade. Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb. What, what do they teach these kids in school these days? Quantum physics? Whatever, I don't need that card. Huh? I got a double. Just keep it. It's yours. What? After I went through all that trouble. If you want to trade, find me a really rare card. Really rare? You mean there's something ra rarer than ultra rare? Ultra rare premium cards are way more rarer than plain ultra rare cards. Come on! Man... For a grown-up, you sure are dumb. Premium rare? Why do I feel like we're talking about steaks? Uh... 
There we go. <clears throat> oh, hi. Hello, what brings you here? Oh, well, I had to arrange some stuff. Um, yes? The, uh, girl with you, doesn't she seem a little different? Like, is she even the same person as before? Uh, nope, she's the same as always. Same as always. Okay, whatever you say. <clears throat> Another old movie poster, The Singing Samurai starring Jack Hammer. What the hell do samurai sing about? Chopping up heads? It's a samurai musical and it's set in ancient Japan. A s samurai musical? Is that even a genre? Well, I'm impressed. You you know your stuff, Mia. Oh, Maya's the real fan. I just picked a little up. Samurai Summer, starring Jack Hammer. This poster looks like it's been hanging here for years. This is one of Maya's favorite movies. Maybe we sh Maybe we should replace the poster in the office with this one. That would be kind of sad. An old movie poster, Dynamite Samurai. Yeah, that doesn't. There's nothing new there. All right. <clears throat> Have you seen that fanboy since then? Nope. You missed it though. The security. <clears throat> the security. <clears throat> the security. Damn! <clears throat> <clears throat> the security <clears throat> better. The security lady was chasing around them to the boy so fast. I thought she was she had collapsed. Of course you got in the way of the end you got away in the end. Boy, was she mad. Actually, we saw them. How's the old windbag doing? <clears throat> They were squeezing donuts through a clenched fist at back at the guard station. Some people take their jobs a little too seriously. Are all these posters on the wall here of Hammer? Yes. It's really ter it's really a terrible loss for the studios. Like, his popularity had been waning recently, right? That's true. But again, after what happened... <clears throat> After what happened? Uh, you... You mean you don't know about Hammer? No, what? Uh, I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have said anything. Wait! Now you have to tell me what happened with Hammer! Uh, I'm sorry. I'm probably not the one who should tell you. Uh-oh. Why do I get a feeling that something's being covered up here? Do you know anything about this? Hey! This is a Steel Samurai trading card. I collect those, actually. I'm one card away from a co complete set. A complete set? Yeah, a set of one of each card. Huh. Wait. Whoa, 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 That's the card I need. You don't know how long I've been looking for it. Uh, I don't care what kind of girl you might think I am. I need that card. But please, I beg you, please trade with me. Trade with you? Yes, trade cards. Look, I'll even trade you an ultra rare premium card. Trade me a huh? Yes, it's a good deal for your ultra rare. Wait, 
is. <clears throat> Phoenix, can't you see she's desperate? W what's with everybody getting so ex- What's everybody getting so excited about? <clears throat> okay. But really? But thanks. Well, this is for you. Hey, Eddie, what up? This theme slaps so fucking hard, man! Yahoo! <clears throat> and there she goes. Doesn't doing good things like that make you feel great? Yeah! Yeah, it does! I'm good, I'm good. The only thing that's kind of shit is, like, my vapes being kind of an asshole about being charged. Otherwise, I'm pretty good. Uh, anything else I want to... Right, 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 right. I want to re-explore some of these. Nameless flowers bloom in solitude. They probably have a proper name. But it is not for me to know. Not now, nor ever, till the end of my days. I need a vacation. Oh, fuck me! I just remembered. There's there's some lore stuff I want to do real quick. Well, I still have Mia with me. Examine! <clears throat> my poor plant. It looks so... So sluggish. Have you been watering it properly, Phoenix? Uh, well, Maya has actually. I think maybe she's giving it too much. I haven't seen it yet, but I plan to. I plan to see it. Oh, Maya. Sorry, Charlie. The plant's name is Charlie? There we go! That's an update on the plan. The plan's name is Charlie. And Charlie is a recurring character in the series. And no, I'm not joking. <laughs> we will have lore updates on Charlie. A poster of an old movie that Mia liked. Oh, hey! Mia, what's the name of this movie? That movie? Oh. I'd sure like to see that one again. It's, uh... What was it again? S sorry, it's right on the tip of my tongue. Let me guess. It's a suspense thriller? Alright, there we go. I needed... I needed to get that in there. I needed to get... Charlie in there. Alright, studio. Back to the studio. <laughs> sorry! All right, ba ba back to back to where, where I should be outside studio two. Hmm. Doors unlocked. We could probably just walk right in. Closer inspection. This trailer looks like it's been here for a while. I don't think this is part of some temporary film set. Uh, these looks like materials for making a movie set. They've been sitting here for quite some time. This might as well be a junkyard. I do love me some fucking Godzilla, though. Looks like two people ate here. There's nothing left on the plates. There's a big two painted here. Probably because it's a studio two? Probably, though it doesn't look anything like a studio. An incinerator! Apparently they just put this one in. It's already covered in soot. They must not clean it on much. A light van for moving staff and equipment around. They've kept it in pretty good shape. Looks like it'll run fine. Alright. Uh, outside Studio One. I really want to take a break, but we have work to do. Still, it's kind of sad to see so many empty benches. Kind of like, 
if you threw a party and nobody came? Welcome! I wonder if the murder will make this place famous too. I see there's a clock and a speaker in the monkey's head. It will usually tell the time by ooking. The clock is stopped at 2.15 now. Alright. <clears throat> oh fuck! I forgot! I forgot, I forgot. Uh... Trailer? Oh, right, 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 right. She, she got the fuck out. So... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got the card. So I'm supposed to go here. Uh, employee area. And then... Hold on. Can I do this already now? Or do I have to wait? Oh, the, the bicycle. Looks like one of those electric power. I don't know, man. What's the point? It makes it a lot easier to go up hills. Where have I heard that line before? Alright, the dinners are still... the same. That must be the storage room. That's where they keep all the film equipment. Let's see, cola, candy, chips, gum. Huh, so normal. Look at this! Spaghetti in a soda can! S spaghetti Wouldn't just the sauce come out and the noodles all stay stuck inside? Best when slammed? Guess they want you to drink it in one gulp? Slamming spaghetti? Right. The door to the dressing room, it's not locked. This is where Cody ran. Let's go in and see if we can get him to talk. All right. Uh, dressing room. <laughs> Anything with new lines? Yes! There's a box of snacks on tables, those cans of soda, they're all empty. I'm glad Maya isn't here to see this. She'd be devastated. Sorry? What was that about Maya? Oh, oh nothing. Oh, oh, nothing. There's an array of cosmetics here. According to Maya, that wig was used as a mold TV show. You don't know... <clears throat> you don't know Samurai Boogie Woogie? You're even lamer than I thought! Why does everybody but me know about this show? Ours is bad. Now, Phoenix, it's not polite to look through other people's belongings. H hey, don't look at me! Tell it to your sister. Alright. See this card? Yeah, so... Wait! That's it! That's the last Ultra Rare Premium card I need! Come on, give it to me! Please! You gotta give it to me! Wow! I've never seen him so... Eager! R right oky how about a trade? You're on! I'll give you a Samurai Spear... ...and throw in an evil Magistrate to boot! No, 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 not that kind of trade. I don't want cards. I want information. Huh? You sure? Fine by me. Okay, Phoenix, let's hear what he has to say. He knows something that could help us? We can have him take the stand tomorrow. So... You like to steal Samurai. He's so cool! I... I guess? You're judging him by his looks. You're judging him by his looks! You have to look at his actions! 
at his life! I'm being lectured on life by a great school. You like him too, don't ya? Uh, oh, me? Y yeah, I, uh, love the Steel Samurai. So tell me, what's your favorite thing about the Steel Samurai? Your favorite thing about the Steel Samurai is... <coughs> His fighting skills. Got to think of something. I like it when he uh, vanquishes his foes. Yeah! Wizam! Steel Samurai always wins! Always! <coughs> Check this out! It's my fan album! What the? It's all pictures of the Steel Samurai. I go to every live performance. The stupid publicity stunts. Where they beat where they beat each other up in public? I always take a picture when the steel samurai lands the final blow. Wazam! I got them all! I never missed one! A perfect collection! Check it out! My new digital camera! Wow, that's very impressive! The newest model, isn't it? You bet, lady! I just got it for my birthday! My album has a name, wanna hear it? The Steel Samurai Path to Glory! The Steel Samurai always wins! Always! Hey, if you want this, you can have it, lady! Really? Are you sure? Yeah, I took this with a digital camera. I got all the data at home, so I can always make another one. Well then, I'm happy to accept. Thank you. <coughs> What's with people always giving stuff to Mia? What a life. You were here on the day of the incident, right? Yeah. Did you see anything unusual? Cody? Cody? He needs to know because he's fighting for justice. Isn't that the Steel Samurai's motto? For great justice? You have to help us fight for great justice too. I... I saw... I saw everything! Well, well, we might get some useful information out of him yet. Cody, I need to ask you something very important. What did you see on the day of the incident? I got here on that day around two. I had to come in through the woods out back so the old lady wouldn't see me. I got kinda lost, though. I was in there for maybe a half hour or so. Then I finally got to the studio. After that... <coughs> what is it, Cody? The... The Steel Samurai killed the bad guy! He used his samurai spear, just like always. One shot, one kill! It happened so fast! I got scared! I went home after that. I, I see. It must have been hard for you. Man, you say those nice things, but it's so obvious you aren't speaking from the heart. Uh, right. Mia? Yes? I think we can say for sure this means to steal Samurai did it. True enough. And the director has an alibi, so it wasn't him. Indeed. So the only person left who it could have been is... Will Powers! I have to admit, it's kind of a shock. But if you put this boy on the witness stand, your client will be guilty for sure. Let's not call him this. I think that would be wise. Best leave this one alone. Not so fast, pal! I heard everything. This boy here is a key witness, and he's under police protection starting now. 
Come on, son. You got a rendezvous with me down at the precinct. No, I ain't going. Wah! That didn't go so well. We're back to zero leads. And now we have a serious handicap in court. W what are we going to do, Mia? Well, hmm. I really need to be going. Don't worry, Phoenix. I'm sure you'll be fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. C -c Come to trial tomorrow, please. I need you there. Phoenix, can I ask you something? Do you really believe Mr. Paris is innocent? Of course he is! Then that's all I wanted to hear. Excellent. I'll see you in court then. Great! Thanks, Mia! See you soon. All right, court time. However, I'm going to leave this for the next stream. We'll finish off this chapter in the next stream. And, um, we'll start the uh, case number four. Which will be a long one, but a good one. So this is Majin. Uh, I'm going to sign out. Giving shout outs to Mala Gaming 4K. Uh, Project MRE, or My Project Mystery for that matter. Um... I'm pre giving giving shout out to uh, Predator Gaming HD, Speed King One Two Five, Speed King uh, Taz, uh, Death Count or Kamaro Tetsuo on Twitch. Uh, giving shout out Eddie Ma Eddie Madison, uh, and shout outs to my boy the Master. And a uh, shout out to you, Dave, who's probably watching at this very second. Um, that's very similitude. That's also a pretty cool dude to check out on YouTube. Now, I hope all y'all sexy ass motherfuckers have a sexy ass day, night, or evening, depending on your region. This is Majin signing out. Peace the fuck out. Wait, hold on. Double check that I saved. Oh. I can't yet. I gotta do it here. There we go. Alright. <laughs> there we go. Peace the fuck out.